All right, so here is the box. Here's the refrigerator. It's a 4.5 cubic foot refrigerator. About a year ago, my friends from Techpo had reached out with a drill for me to review, and uh, I like that so much. When they reached out about a refrigerator, I thought, sounds really interesting and different. I didn't expect that from a company that made a drill, but hey, let's try it out. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and review this refrigerator for you and let you know who it's practical for, whether or not I recommend it, and uh, you know what situation you might wanna consider getting this. So let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so here is the box. Here's the refrigerator. It's a 4.5 cubic foot refrigerator, one door in the front. Maybe this would be practical for an office or a retail store for the employees, that kind of thing, or maybe even a dorm room if you're in college and something like that. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look and see what it looks like inside and then fire it up and see what we think of it. Before we open this up though, let's look at some of the pieces of information. There's the measurements right there. You can pause if you want to see this. Um, obviously refrigerator and so on. So take a look at that if you want. And over on this side, it's going to tell you a little bit, about, a little bit more about it. It says it's, tech, it's a technological refrigerator, whatever that means. Um, energy efficient. Reversible door, that's kind of cool. You can open it from the uh, from the left or the right, depending on which way you want to put the door. It has a separate freezer compartment and can hold a two liter bottle. So we're gonna test that out too. As I open it, I'd let you know that it's uh, pretty well packaged in here. And it also has the Energy Star label, so we'll look at that in a second. As I open the box, I noticed that it was uh, damaged here in shipping, so. Um, because it was sent to me for free, I'll just let them know, but uh, obviously if you bought this, probably return this for the damage. I don't know if it was FedEx's fault or, or what. We'll take a closer look at that once we get it out of the box. The nice thing about how they package this, though, is when you take the straps off the outside, the package just lifts right up like that. And it's sitting on styrofoam on the bottom as well, so that's pretty cool. Here is the Energy Star label. It uses about $27 a year. The low range is gonna be 24, high range is 41. So I'd say that's probably pretty efficient, right? Um, there it says Energy Star. So it's got that, there's the name of the brand. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a look inside if we can do that real quick. So here we go. Opening this up. I'm Gonna say this is probably where the two liter bottles go, right here. It's got this X shape right there. Now maybe not, we'll figure that out. It's got these little rail things to hold larger things that would fit a little bit larger than the shelf. So you got a little bit of room there. Up here is gonna be your freezer, which we'll open up and check out. There's a little tray here for the bottom of the freezer. And you got your one, two, three shelves, and then your little crisper thing right there. And then over here you have your little switch for colder or hotter, right up in this corner. And yeah, everything's taped in place. So we'll go ahead and uh, take all the tape out, set it up, see what it sounds like. Really quickly going back over to this corner, you can see where this was damaged in shipping. Um, but hopefully this doesn't affect it. Like I said, if, if I purchased this, I'd probably be returning it for a replacement, but I'm hoping it causes no issue with the, the thing itself, and I would suffice it to say it's probably in shipping that that happened, so let's go ahead and open the rest of this up. All right, looking at the back of this, it gives you a circuit diagram right there. It tells you a little bit more information about the refrigerator, so again, you can pause that if you wanna look at it. And then uh, over here, you have a little warning label and finally down here, here's the compressor and all that jazz right there. And here is your plug. Also has little wheels here, which I would say is probably easy to wheel it around with. So let's plug this in, fire it up, and we're gonna put some drinks in here and see how cold this thing gets. So with this having its wheels, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to push it around. Now I found at least a temporary home for it. I'm gonna plug it in, see what we get. Can hear the sound already. Got a little light in there. 
which is actually up here in the corner. Lights it bright enough, in my opinion. Here's your freezer right there. It's your typical small size uh, little mini fridge freezer. Um, these shelves are glass, and the bottom thing is thin plastic. Here's our instruction manual in here. And this looks like your little, a little ice pack. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look while this thing gets cool and gets prepared. Little ice cube tray. It's um, kind of cute if not really practical, but you know, here you got four little circle ones. Maybe these are hearts, although I guess if you fill it all the way, it might look like a four leaf clover. And then four little squares. So tiny, it's a little bit bigger than my hand or about the same size of my hand. And then what else do we have in here? This little guy I would say is probably to cover these holes if you wind up shifting from one side to the other. As you can see, here's little spaces and holes if you wanted to move the door swing from over here to the other side. Here's a little scraper. Probably scrape some ice off. And then here's the instruction booklet. So let's take a quick look at that. It's a refrigerator. I don't think there's a lot of instructions you need to worry about. But I, I'll take a look and point out anything that, that might be of, of interest to you. So over here it tells you the different areas. And number 9 is, they just call it door bins. 8, 9, lamp switch, so on. So there's basically what they're telling you the different parts of this is. So there's the numbers. And there's the numbers over here. And then you got some safety warnings, installation instructions. The one thing I would always say is if you're taking a refrigerator and turning it on its side, don't plug it in for a couple days before you, uh, you know, once it's back up straight or the oil can be in the wrong place and cause a little bit of an issue here. So looking at the package and the, uh, looking at the instructions, it says this is a drip tray, which you would put here underneath the freezer, just leaving it there in case you're defrosting it or you know, anything might be dripping down. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know if I've seen that in many refrigerators. In my opinion, it runs pretty quiet. It's definitely not silent, but, um, you know, it's, it's perfectly fine as far as sound goes. And I think really the key here is going to be uh, how well it cools. So we'll give it a couple hours to cool, come back, check it out in more depth, and tell you what we think about it. So the first test I'll do is fill this ice cube tray up, throw it in the freezer, and see what happens to it. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a uh, room temperature bottle of water here, and I'm going to check out the temperature of it. Now we're going to take this bottle that's at 75 degrees and put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours and see what the temperature turns out to be. All right, so here I am the next day. I just got busy yesterday. I checked on the ice cubes uh, after about six or eight hours and they weren't frozen yet, but I understand that's probably about right. So here we go. We're going to check out the refrigerator and see what our water bottle and our ice cubes look like. And if everything looks good, then we're going to load this thing up. So here we go. All right, so here's our ice cube tray and all of our ice cubes are frozen. See them all in there. So I'd probably get a little bit bigger ice cube tray than this, but yeah, it's definitely kind of cool. And then we're going to, obviously we don't have to measure the temperature of ice, it's frozen. And now the other thing we'll do is grab our bottle of water down here, put this up here and see how cold it's gotten. I can see already that there's some condensation on it, so that's a good sign. All right, here's our thermometer, and it says it's 66 degrees in the room, the room right now. And we'll go ahead and put this into the water bottle. But yeah, our bottle of water is down to below 40 degrees. Nice and cold. So overall, I'd say uh, it's a good refrigerator. So if the price is uh, within your budget and you think that uh, this size and everything goes along with it is something that you'd be interested in, I could definitely recommend it. Uh, the sound is quiet enough.
it's right here uh, in front of me. And I think overall, it's the quality of the build is good. Uh, I don't fault the company for the little ding on the back of it. I would say that's probably something in shipping. And uh, it was packaged really nicely, so I'm surprised that happened. But uh, if, I was, if I had bought this myself, I would just contact Amazon and get a replacement. And, you know, it's shipped in about a day or two. So there you go. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this refrigerator. If this is something you would get. Do you have a different refrigerator? would love to hear your comments, thoughts, uh, and everything like that. So thanks for checking this out. Check out their drill video, too. I've been using that drill like crazy for probably six or eight months or more and still works really well. So uh, check out some of my other videos. Give a thumbs up if you learned something here and definitely consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next video.